Hi, this is Misha. I'm incredibly excited today to talk to you about a new product feature for advanced data scientists, Composable ML. So let's start with a good old Lending Club dataset, where we predict whether someone is likely to default on a loan using features such as loan amount, interest rate, loan purpose, and so on. Autopilot has already completed, and we can see the data robot built and tested 88 models. This is a mixture of traditional tree-based, linear, and the latest deep learning algorithms. This XGBoost model was the winner and has been recommended for deployment. Opening up the model, I can look at the blueprint. This is a machine learning pipeline that has been used to train my model, and it includes preprocessing as well as the modeling steps. Now, as an advanced data scientist, Let's say I want to try out a custom missing values imputation technique, compare results, and deploy the best model into production. To create my custom model, I'm going to follow three steps. First, I'll write my custom missing values imputation method. Next, I'll upload my code into data robot so that it can be used as a step in a blueprint. And then I'll use my code to build and train a new blueprint. Here is the missing values imputation task I've defined in Python. To make sure data robot can correctly run my code, I've defined two hooks, fit and transform, where I specify how the task learns on training data and how it applies the learnings to transform new data. I've also added task schema to validate tasks inputs and outputs when building a blueprint. The next step is to import this code into data robot so it can be used as a task in a blueprint. I click Add New Task and give it a name. Next, I'll pick a container environment in which to run the task. I'll use this Python 3 scikit-learn environment provided by DataRobot, but I could define my own Docker file and install any dependency if needed. Now I upload the code. My task is now defined and can be used for modeling. Back on the models page in my project. Here I'm going to copy my winning blueprint to use as a template with my new missing values imputation task. The steps in my cloned blueprint are now editable and I can add, remove, or replace any step in it or build a completely new blueprint. I remove the old missing values imputation task and add a new one. I can now choose from a huge list of transforms and estimators available for me. I'm going to replace the missing values imputation task with the one that I've just uploaded, but I could also use one of the built-in tasks instead. I can continue modifying this blueprint, for example, replace the text preprocessing task with tiny bird. Now, let's train our new blueprint. After training, my model appears on the leaderboard, where I can see how well it performed against the models in the project. Here it is. I can now start benefiting from other awesome features that help me gain productivity and save time. As I continue iterating, Leaderboard will track the models and their accuracy so that I can explore what works and what doesn't for my specific use case. I can save my blueprints into AI catalog to reuse it later or to share with my colleagues. I can access model agnostic insights, for example, rock curve or feature impact, which can help me debug and further improve my model. I can leverage automated compliance documentation to save time otherwise spent on manually creating model documentation. And of course, I can also deploy my model into production in just a few clicks. This means the model will get highly specialized monitoring, governance, lifecycle management, and retraining, all on our world-class enterprise-grade MLOps platform. 